We're Trent and Allie, and this week has been full of ups and downs. What happened? Your butt broke the window? Trent! We're almost ready for our four-way inspection. If we do a list of things that you told us to fix, what's the likelihood that we'll pass? Zero. <laughs> and right as we get excited for this milestone, we got a phone call. It's bad enough that we're being investigated by the FBI and I've got to meet with the detective today, but... It's also freezing. Subscribe and come along today to find out why we're being investigated by the FBI. It's scary, they're federal officers. And he's like, you know, it's against the law to lie to a federal officer. And it's like. <laughs> Are you ready? Do you want to go outside? Are you such a good dog? Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Lika slept most of the way through the night, and we're just paying our dues. We're paying our puppy dues now. We're practicing a lot of training, and uh, it's exhausting having a puppy, but it will be super worth it in a couple years when she turns into a great, well-rounded dog. Right now, she's uh, a puppy, and everything that comes with being a puppy. <laughs> Lika? Okay. Okay. Oh, nice. Yes, good dog. You ready to go? Let's go for a walk. Okay. Yeah. Well, Allie is actually taking Frank and Lika for a little walk this morning, which is really nice. A week or two weeks ago, we had really warm weather and it started melting all of the snow and it was hot outside, you could wear a t-shirt. It got everybody like really excited for spring and down in the valley, it like is spring right now. They're like selling plants at Home Depot. People are preparing their gardens, but up here, no. It's like slowly warming up. The snow is slowly melting, but then occasionally we still get snowstorms. So I'm just, uh, pushing through, and then I think tomorrow, Kevin's coming up. If you guys don't know who Kevin is, he's the general contractor that helped us pull the permits and kind of coached me through framing, and he's, he's been a huge, incredible help all the way through the entire build. And he's gonna come through and basically do like a pre-inspection for us and kind of tell us the things that he thinks we won't pass on four-way inspection so that we can go ahead and fix those. But for today, I actually got the rest of the breakers that I need, and I'm gonna finish wiring up the panel in the basement. First, I gotta build a fire, though. Well, now I've uh, made it down here into the basement. The fire's going upstairs. I need to finish wiring up the panel, and. I have power feeding into the panel right now from the extension cord and all of the breakers are off except for the furnace. Now, this is all totally fine as long as nobody touches this, but I have to continue putting in all the breakers and wiring the panel. So I have to turn off the furnace, I have to turn off all the power, and I can't have power to this light until I'm pretty much done with the panel. It's a good thing it's sunny out here today and I can actually see what's going on. I don't need a flashlight or anything like that, but just a little bit of a pain in the butt. So yesterday we had our first really big, exciting delivery. Our vanity for our master bathroom upstairs arrived and I got what I thought was a really cheap one. I did a ton of research and I was trying to not go crazy and just get something on sale. So I found one at wayfair.com, which tends to be a little bit more affordable. And I was like, oh, this might be kind of flimsy, but I'm gonna take a chance. And we picked it up yesterday at our shipping location and we couldn't pick it up. It was so heavy. We had to have four people help us lift it into the bed of the truck. And I have no idea how we're gonna get it out now. We're just gonna push it out. We're gonna push it out? Yeah. Just put a trampoline it doesn't, under it? If it doesn't make it, it doesn't make it. You know, it's like the test of Wayfair. How durable is your stuff? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 
That is all of the breakers installed, over tightened, over torqued. <laughs> Uh, basically, we're ready to put the panel cover on, but I'm not going to do that because for the four-way, they just have to inspect this and our little Jimmy Rig uh, pigtail here that plugs us in so that the <laughs> furnace has power so that our pipes don't freeze. It needs to be hooked up. So, so if you uh, plug it in and turn the light on, are we still good? Plug it in, plug it in. <laughs> Moment of truth. Don't electrocute yourself. Which one's the utility? Ah! Oh my gosh. Perfect. Hey. Freak me out. And, uh, please don't trip. Way easier than I thought. <laughs> the panel was actually really easy to hook up, and I know a lot of you guys are like, well, it was probably easy because you did it wrong. Yeah, but maybe. I didn't do it wrong. <laughs> and I'm pretty confident that it's done properly, and it looks really nice and really neat. All we have to do now is bring the service entry cable in, connect it to one, two, three lugs, and the ground bar, and electrical roughing is basically done. Yeah. So I'm sure you're asking yourselves right now, Trent, what are you doing? I thought you were done with the panel. We decided to get the door out to just kind of see what it would look like, and the panel has little spots where you break out a tab for each breaker. And whoever designed this panel decided the one and two breaker, they're just not even gonna keep the, the tabs in there. So if I was to do it this way, there would just be open holes right here and I guarantee that would be a problem. So I'm gonna take these bottom breakers and I'm gonna move them to the top. It's still gonna look nice and neat. I'm gonna be very meticulous about it, but then we'll be able to put the door on. And then we'll actually be done. And then I just have a couple outlets to do in the eaves and then we can go check the vanity. I know I'll let you down I made the same mistake I am the world and kind Rest in my life away Be here You know I really want you to stay Lights are on Furnace is on Panel is done let me hear your critiques in the comments. I'd love to know if you think I did a bad job, but I'd love it even more if you guys said I did a good job. So, but I think it looks pretty good. I think so too. Very professional, guys. Yay! Absolutely. That's awesome. Now we just got to figure out how to mount the outside boxes in the eaves, and then we can go check out the vanity. Awesome. Let's go. I was like actually concerned about and then a lot of people commented which is correct is that these blue boxes are not rated for wet locations so you can't use them outside mm -hmm. so now I've replaced all of them with these uh, like sealed weatherproof outdoor approved boxes hmm. for the two outlets here and the two outlets in the eaves just gotta go back up on the ladder and get this one installed on the side of the house Cold ladder, cold tools, cold Trent. It's just cold out here. Oh my gosh. That was a phone call with a detective from this county working with the FBI on domestic terrorism charges that they got a tip that I was at the Capitol riots on January 6th. How insane is that? It's so funny though, because then he was like, um, have you done anything in the past year to overthrow the government? Which is such a ridiculous <laughs> question to ask, but I guess like this past year was kind of crazy. So I kind of laughed, but like the answer is no, I have not. <laughs> You're like, hmm, overthrow the government. Yeah. Uh, let me think. <laughs> yeah. What a weird That's question. That's not something you forget about. <laughs> Do I dare say it? The electrical is done. And it's not just the electrical, like the electrical, the plumbing, the HVAC, the, oh well, the HVAC's not fully done. One other thing that we have to do today, oh. um, the damper yeah. for the six inch pipe, that's gonna run outside uh, for the range exhaust vent. Mm -hmm. The damper showed up, so now I can drill the six inch hole, put the pipe out it, put the damper in, run the pipe over to this point here. I just gotta drill that hole, install that pipe, then the HVAC will be done. And the framing is done. We're about ready for Kevin to come check this puppy out. I would say before we get low on energy, 
we're gonna go and unload the vanity <laughs> and check it out, make sure everything's good there. I think we got a pipe downstairs because I think the pipe is gonna help us get it out of the back of the truck. You got it? Yeah. I still keep thinking a ratchet strap under it would be so much easier. That would be a viable option, but the pipe I think is gonna work. I'll go get it and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, my butt was against it, and it exploded into a billion pieces. Your butt broke the window? Yeah. Trent! I just have a pretty hard butt. <laughs> it's really heavy. This is not a good idea. So, grab that pipe, go to the other side. Look at that cool back window. Oh my God, Trent! My butt is just too strong. Oh my God. Holy cow. Trent, that's gonna be expensive. Just like 20,000. It's too strong. Yeah. Of course, today is the coldest it's been all week, and it's snowing. At least the dogs are having a great time. <laughs> steps forward, one step back. Electrical, getting the vanity, broken window. This is, you know, part of the process. One, two, three. All right, so before we unbox this, I wanna show you guys um what it looked like when we showed up to pick it up and that is these two holes right here and that's from a forklift picking up something behind this going too far underneath it and bam poking holes into the back of the cabinet now you can see there's styrofoam there's plastic and then there's some wood right there and uh the forklift went through all of the layers we are hoping it didn't go deep enough to damage anything inside the cabinet because we're assuming that that thin piece of plywood is the back of the cabinet and that goes against the wall. You have to cut a hole in it for plumbing anyways. So if luck is on our side, then you know there's nothing that's like visibly damaged. So I think we're gonna unbox it now and kind of figure out what's going on. Oh, it's beautiful. Just kidding. Wow, look at that. Oh, you guys, that's so pretty. I'm so excited. All right, well, you need to at least call them and yeah. like say, hey, there's holes in this. Yeah, I will. Give us all our money back. Yeah, I will. <laughs> It's snowing harder now, which is great that we got this all done um, and unloaded and under the deck before it was snowing like this because now it's actually snowing, it's freezing. And that's the perfect time to get out the vacuum and the cleaning supplies and clean out all the glass that has shattered in the truck. Thank you, Trent. <laughs> So I guess it goes without saying that the truck was a utter disaster as it is. So yeah, I mean, this gives us an excuse to clean it out. It just sucks that now I'm gonna have to go drop it off at an auto glass place and have them fix the windows. And we don't have time for that. But we gotta do it. All right, so now that we spent an unanticipated hour or hour and a half, cleaning up all the glass and basically putting a plastic bag over the window. I called the insurance company, I scheduled a claim, and it's gonna be like $500 to fix it. And our deductible is like $2,000. So that sucks. And we're gonna to have to pay for it out of pocket. And I guess that's just kind of the way the cookie crumbles. And our appointment is in like a week. So I get to drive around for a week with a plastic bag window. Now I came in here, 
this is the uh, motorized damper, like the ones that we put in the fart fans. And it's a six inch, so it's a lot bigger. It goes in the range hood, the uh, extraction fan exhaust, and it's open. It's supposed to be closed. The way that this one works, it's actually backwards from what I need. If we energize this one, it closes, and we want it to open when it's energized and be normally closed. So I got the wrong damper. So basically, we don't have much going on the rest of the day. And the detective that called and talked to Allie before that thought we were at the Capitol on January 6th, he uh, just texted me and he wants to meet with me for 30 minutes. So I guess he's gonna come up tomorrow. We're gonna be doing that tomorrow and I guess probably for the rest of the day today, we're gonna do nothing. People ask me about my hair care routine all the time and before you style your hair, you have to nourish your hair. And that's why I use Function of Beauty products. Function of Beauty is actually the sponsor of today's video. Function of Beauty is a totally customized hair care experience. Each of their products is formulated specifically to meet your hair needs. Their products are high quality and clean without any parabens, sulfates, GMOs, or toxins and they're 100% vegan and cruelty-free. It's hard to find really good hair products, especially for hair like mine, and Function of Beauty offers reliable results every time. Some of my hair goals are to define my curls, to hydrate, and to reduce frizz, and that's why I've been really enjoying their leave-in treatment. It actually comes in a new mango flavor that reminds me so much of the amazing summer we had in Mexico and the fresh mangoes down there, and it's great because I can put it in my hair wet or dry, and it just helps to tame some of that frizz and rejuvenate and rehydrate my hair. If you guys want to check them out, I highly recommend them. Click our link in the description and you'll get 20% off your first set. Thanks again to Function of Beauty for sponsoring today's video. We're gonna see you guys in the morning. I met an old man I said, tell me your story He took out an old man And wrote something for me Para ti, mi amor. Thank you. Buen provecho. Fake spring is officially gone, and we are deep into third winter. <laughs> Bad enough that we're being investigated by the FBI and I've got to meet with the detective today, but it's also freezing. I said, you ready for your interrogation? I don't have a choice, so <laughs> I guess I'm ready. So while we're waiting for the FBI to show up today, <laughs> um, what else can we get going? There's not much we can do today, right? I think we're, we're pretty close to our four-way. Uh, I mean, I'm sure there's things we could be doing, but I'm just like not super aware you right know why? now of what those things are. You what? know why? Why? Because it's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> So we're just pretty much working on little bits and pieces that we can finish up and finesse and make nice and pretty before the four-way. There's not that much left to do, so I think we're gonna take this morning before the FBI and Kevin arrive to um, swap out the tempered window panes. They're actually not tempered and they need to be, so Alpen Windows sent us replacements. I have no idea if Trent is capable of doing this, um, but the, the actual glass sash themselves needs to be swapped out, so we're going to see how this goes. We're about to find out. <laughs> Come 
confident are you in your ability to do this? Um, it literally looks like Legos. It like just pops apart in three places and slides out. So oh, nice. we just gotta put some suction cups on the old window, get it out of there, and then we'll uh, throw the new one in. Nice. Oh my gosh. What a freaking nightmare. Oh. Now we gotta put one on like that, huh? It'd be way easier. I don't think so. <laughs> Why does it seem Here. smaller? The bottom the bottom's in, so just apply pressure right there. Holy cow! Oh, wow. <laughs> Let me just say that window sash is about an eighth of an inch too small. Oh really? We like made it work, but. It's weather sealed. It's nice and tight. It's probably looser. Oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Want that ventilation. Um, I mean, maybe it's the same size, but since the frame was already mounted, the frame probably is like pulling apart mm. and like trying to put the top and the bottom hinge in was very tight. Nice job, guys. But it's in. And guess what? Tamper. Stop. I'm gonna show you how quick and how easy this is when you've done it a couple times and you know what you're doing. Wow. That puppy is in. It's gotta be like three minutes maybe. Yeah, you guys. Window installation professionals. <sighs> Why would I ever doubt you? You know, because we've had a lot of bad luck in the past. <laughs> Bet you never will again. <laughs> we're getting it out of the way. <laughs> But that being said, I think we're pretty much done. And now we're just waiting for Kevin to show up and tell us everything we've done wrong. I mean, done is a, <laughs> done is a dangerous word. That's for sure. There, there's always like little things we could yeah. be doing, but I think we are pretty much done with all of the stuff for the four way. Hopefully Kevin shows up soon this afternoon and hopefully the FBI detective is in and out. Yeah. I'm a little bit nervous about this. I have no reason to be nervous other than the fact that I'm like being interrogated for something I didn't do. But, Otherwise, uh, I'm gonna be building this house by myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to jail with me, of course. <laughs> hey, the man of the hour has just arrived. 911 detective, there's two people here. Yeah. They asked us not to film this, so we're gonna talk to the detectives. We'll fill you guys in after they leave. There's the uh, sheriff and there's the unmarked car. And let me just start off by saying, I cannot imagine what it feels like to be interrogated when you are guilty. Yeah. Because being 100% innocent, I have phone records, I have like bank card statements, I have everything proving that I was on the other side of the United States and I couldn't even breathe. Yeah. My heart was like 140 beats a minute and I was just like, <laughs> oh, like freaking out because these guys are just like mentally like interrogating the crap out of you which is like it's scary they're federal officers and he's like you know it's against the law to lie to a federal officer and it's like yes I know that and it's like were you at the Capitol and I'm like no I was not which is the truth but it's still you're just like <laughs> like I don't, when you watch those like murder investigation shows and they're investigating the guy that murdered them and he's just like chilling hanging out those guys are insane. Yeah. There's no way those guys are like normal because oh yeah, that was that was scary. Yeah, and I, and I know we didn't do anything wrong. I know. We never did anything wrong, but it was still, it was just like, it was scary. And uh, the detective said that I can tell you guys that he's cleared my name. I mean, the really good thing is that they're taking this very seriously, which we fully support. What happened on January 6th was not okay. And to the people, I guess there were two different tips that came in on our YouTube channel to the FBI saying, hey, Allie was there. And then somebody else said, hey, Trent was there. So they took that very seriously. And we posted a video of us going to DC for Christmas. So 
DC for Christmas is right around DC on January 6th. It's totally understandable that someone watching this and like putting pieces together might think that we were there. And we appreciate everyone that is doing their due diligence to help report people that we're at the Capitol because that's not okay. But we weren't there. <laughs> we don't support that. And uh, yeah, definitely never thought I'd experience that type of questioning in my life. <laughs> so it's absolutely crazy. They, the facial recognition that came up that identified me was like literally of a guy that like had a red beard and a beanie. So I guess, you know, I look like every guy with a red beard and a beanie. He was assaulting an officer. I would go to prison. Like that's absolutely insane. And obviously it wasn't me. And then they ran Allie's driver's license photo through the facial recognition software and they found her there as well. Guess what? She was a cop. I was immediately like, okay, that's not Allie. Little does he know that I'm a Capitol Police officer on the side. <laughs> All jokes aside, we're glad that that's over with. And now we can get back to- Waiting for Kevin. Diddly dinking around in the house until Kevin shows up. <laughs> we have another guest. This one I'm much more excited about. Howdy, folks! <laughs> How are ya? I'm great! <laughs> Boy, am I glad to see you. Guess who just left? I have no idea. The FBI. Oh, yeah? Yeah. For real? <laughs> Someone told them that Allie and I were at the Capitol on January 6th. Well, the... you were, weren't you? No! <laughs> Kevin! Come on, Kevin! How are you doing? <laughs> I feel like dad just came back from the war and he's here to make sure I've been running the shop appropriately and basically Kevin's gonna help us walk through the house and we're gonna discuss the things that he thinks might be a problem and uh, maybe some stuff we need to fix before we call for our four-way. I don't think there's gonna be many problems. Wow. So stoic. He's just like, they did a great job. <laughs> he's lying. The plumbing is gonna be a, a big test for us? Well, you have a test on your water and then you have your test on your sewer. Which we've done both so tests we've, already. We've, we've already good. conducted both tests numerous <laughs> times. <laughs> and we know that the only Lika in this house is our new dog. <laughs> <laughs> the general consensus is that we went above and beyond in some places and we almost did good in some other places. <laughs> now we're coming up to the main level and we're gonna investigate all the weird stuff going on up here. Well, I think we have gone over all of the HVAC, all the electrical, all of the plumbing. Framing's a disaster, but we're gonna give it a good old college try and send it to the four-way. Ah, <sighs> feels really good. If we do the list of things that you told us to fix, what's the likelihood that we'll pass? Zero. <laughs> <laughs> they always find one thing. It doesn't matter how good you are, they'll find one thing. Okay. So we've got some work to do. I guess that does it. We do have some work to do. Kevin didn't have to be the bearer of too bad a news. We just have uh, probably at least another one or two videos worth of stuff that we have to do. We'll uh, try and tackle the projects that we've got on our plate and we'll give you a call. Okay, awesome. sounds good. Thanks Thank you, Kevin. By, Kevin. See you Thanks soon. You, All right, so Kevin was uh, nice enough to drop off an extra set of plans that he had printed off. Our plans are a disaster, so we have a nice new set for the inspector. And Kevin basically said most of the stuff looks good. We have a couple of little projects we've got to tackle, but it looks like everything is turning out according to plan. Yay. And it's really like, it's, it's like a bittersweet day, you know? It's like I was like having a really bad day. The FBI was here and that was like crazy. But then obviously there was no issues there. So then the spirits were brightened and then Kevin showed up and the spirits were lifted even more because well, he thought everything looked good. Our back window is still broken. <laughs> but other than that, oh, I everything forgot. is great. <laughs> our back window is still broken. It's fixable, and luckily it didn't like fall on your toe or your finger, like you have all of your appendages. Yeah, but the window's still broken. Two steps forward, 
one step back. <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed coming along on today's adventure. If you guys did, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you guys haven't already. Thank you again to Function of Beauty for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in our description to check them out. We'll see you guys on the next Adios. one. Adios.